basic loop, basic splice, here we go. I want to put a splice in a rope about that size. What to do is to, first thing, feed a rope through the centre and out the other side. And once I've got about the right size of loop I want to put in the rope, I then need to pass the tail back through that side of the rope. So this is going to be the, the hole for the tail. It might be nice to get the orientation right. So that they cross over and as you pull those two together they lock quite nicely. The last part of the splice is to hide the tail. So you have to come in the back of the, the rope underneath it, feed the fid up the line. There's a little barb on the fid that should just catch it as it goes through. Make sure it's well packed in there so it can't get caught and you can feed the tail up through the splice. Now, <clears throat> we'll tension that bit first, make sure it's well tensioned, and then you might want to taper this line. This might be a touch on the long side, so you might want to get a big fish safety knife in there and tape the edge off, and then just cover up the top of it like that, and you finish your splice. Now, if you want to put a splice in two in the same piece of rope, but the other end of it, you may need a slightly bigger fid. So here's the splice we're going to start again, so everything is exactly as before. That's the size of loop you want in it. So you'll feed a rope through it. Okay, so now you've got your loop size correct. You're now going to want to feed your tail through there, but the tail is now double thickness. So you might need to use a thicker fid. So there's the thicker fid. Here's the tail. I'm going to squash it in. Should just go through fairly easily. And then again, the same trick, slowly pulling those two until they're nicely tight together. That's effectively a knot. <coughs> and the finished bit is to hide the tail. So, in the back of the rope, feed it along. This is more tricky. I've got a short tail here, so it's going to be tricky to get it to get to the barb in time, but I can do that. There we go, we're on the barb now, so we should be nice and safe. We can pull it through, pull it tight, and then hide the cover. So it's all finished. We've now got two loops in this piece of rope. To make this double-ended eye splice in 4mm spec 12, we used a 4mm push fit. Because that's to do the first eye splice, to the second eye splice, we needed to use the 5.5mm push fit. And of course, to any trimming of any lines, we used a big fish safety knife.